There's nothing quite like live music making. Live music making, which we do, happens to be at Carnegie Hall, which to begin with is one of the greatest halls in all of the world. It's magic. Carnegie Hall is magic. You hear a unified, balanced sound throughout the hall. Every seat in the house is wonderful. We have a terrific season lined up. We've got our three concerts, our subscription season, a fall concert, a holiday concert, and a concert in the spring. In the fall, November, we will be performing the Mozart C minor Mass, the great Mass in C minor, along with Bruckner's Te Deum, two wonderful, wonderful classic and romantic works. Then in December, of course, we're doing Handel's Messiah, which we love to do. It's always new, always refreshing, and we always look forward to it. Then we're culminating our season in May with Bach's Mass in B minor. I hope you'll join us this season. It's going to be a really wonderful season of some great music. I love this work. It is incredible from the kind of funereal opening and the incredible, incredible C minorness of it through the effervescent Gloria and the brilliant C majorness of the Ozada and the way that the piece ends. It's quite a journey. Mozart wrote the Mass in fulfillment of his marriage vows. He never completed the Mass. And so it is called the Great Mass because clearly he conceived that the scale would be immense. Instead of being an hour and a half long, however, it's really about 50 minutes, which means it's a great piece for an audience to hear in conjunction with another piece. And what we've decided to put with the Mozart Mass in C minor is the Bruckner Te Deum. Now here we have Bruckner, who revered Mozart, Beethoven, and Bach, you know, writing a Te Deum for the Romantic era in C major. And here's our connection of the C major, the C minor, that's going back and forth. We've got a wonderful quartet of soloists for this concert. They are wonderful, capable Mozart singers, but also will bring the warmth and the quality that we want in the romantic work of Bruckner. We have Jennifer Zetlon, who sings roles at the Metropolitan Opera. She is singing our soprano role. We have Helen Karlowski, our solo competition winner, mezzo-soprano from 2015. She will be singing and will sing the famous Laudamus Te of Mozart. We have Alex Richardson, whom we know from our collaborative performance of Verdi Requiem. He will be in the tenor in the quartet. And finally, one of our favorite singers, Philip Cutlip, will be our bass for both of these works. It's a wonderful quartet. From our very second year, 1874, and ever since then, we have been performing Handel's Messiah at Christmas time. Handel's Messiah and our experience with it is a perfect example of what is so special about live performance. As we come to Handel's Messiah again, we are changed musicians from where we were a year before. Handel's notes don't change. Still, we've changed as people. And so the notes come alive every year in a new and exhilarating way. We have a fabulous cast of soloists. We have Katie Lueck. She is singing Queen of the Night all over the world. She's our soloist this year. Our countertenor soloist is Jakub Orlinski. Jakub is the 2016 winner of the Oratory Society solo competition. Wonderful, wonderful singer. He's our countertenor. We have a former solo competition winner, Will Ferguson who's also a favorite soloist of ours, coming in to sing the tenor. His sensitive renderings are just so heartfelt and heart touching. And then we have coming to join us as the bass, Adam Lau. Adam was our bass for our collaborative performance of Mahler Eighth Symphony this last year. We've grabbed him for Messiah. In May, we're performing Bach's Mass in B minor. It's considered by almost all classical musical lovers to be the summation of the mass form, the summation of Baroque forms 
a great, great monument of Western music. One of the glories of the B minor mass is that Bach has used the mass text as the impetus for musical creation in minor mode and major mode um, as, in a way, a compendium of the whole range of human emotion. So you find plaintive moments, you find exuberant moments, you find, you know, grand moments with all the forces engaged, you find incredibly transparent moments with a tenor, a flute, and a cello, and an organ. One of our favorite soprano soloists at the Oratorio Society is Leslie Fagan. She's a superb artist. She's our soprano for B minor mass. Christopher Ainsley is a wonderful countertenor who is joining us for the B minor mass. Lawrence Jones, a young and wonderful tenor who can just sing endlessly for days in the upper tessitura. Another oratorio favorite, Sidney Outlaw. He was our Elijah in Mendelssohn's Elijah, and he's our baritone for the B minor mass. It's a wonderful, sensitive cast of artists. When we come to that magic moment of live music making, that moment of the concert at Carnegie Hall, we are setting foot on that stage and once we begin, we are not turning back. And not only is that happening for us in regard to this music, but most importantly, the audience completes the circle of energy. And we know that once we've begun, we are not looking back until we end. Here we are, we're set to go, and now we just let the bird take off. It's the most exciting thing to be a part of live music making.